Hey guys, uh, today I make a tutorial about something different. In the Dust Store you can get this Instacrowd, uh, yeah, let's call it a plugin, um, where you can um, place crowds into your images without uh, using the 3D characters. You couldn't render this with 50, 50 whatever uh, characters. Um, so these all are just planes. So you're just two D planes in a three D um, area. Yeah, the environment is three D, but the figures are not. Um, and we can uh, do this with Dads and Photoshop or the GIMP as well. And uh, we can do it on our own. And uh, it's no need to purchase something if you're short of money. It's it's a great thing here because um, uh, Simon does all the work already and it has a lot uh, to offer. So there's a lot of people inside that you can use and um, to, to pay this. Um, it's fine. It's a fair deal. So you um, get a lot of uh, content for it and it's worth it, I would say. Uh, but I want to show you how you can do your own um, people. Perhaps you want uh, to have a special character in your background or some more monsters as usual, a crowd, a horde, whatever. Um, and let's dive in and I will show you how you can do that. Let's go to Dash Studio. First, um, the um, thing is always the same. The workflow is always the same. You uh, make a character, you dress her, people, eight female, give her some clothing, whatever clothing, not, not too much, something, so why not uh, the poho shorts outfit, the usual stuff. Now let's give her yeah, can be anything. We'll see how easy it will be uh, to do all the stuff. So now we need a pose. And literally, it's, it's all. So a walking pose, something outdoor. Yeah. So here she is, and uh, in the render settings, we turn the ground off so that we uh, don't have a shadow on the ground. This way the light um, can come from any direction and the um, billboard will um, cast a shadow. The thing is, uh, it would be better to have the light from somewhere behind the camera to make some uh, dome and scene. Of course, draw dome off, sorry. So, something like this. That you have a nice 3D character. And uh, I will show you how to make a billboard out of it. Okay, so first we render this. I render in square format because the primitives are in square as well, but it doesn't matter. You can use your own format however you want to. But um, first thing is important to render it um, the highest quality you can you can do. Uh, the most iterations your computer will be able to handle in a decent amount of time. So you don't want to wait forever, I can imagine, but um, they should look good. Um, don't give up too early, don't um, interrupt or break um, the, the rendering. The better the um, character is here, the better it will be later in the, as a billboard. Okay, I will let it render now and um, will come back to you when I load it up in Photoshop. So I uh, interrupt. Um, I 
stop the rendering with more than 1000, 1200 iterations. Uh, I give it a name and it's really important that you save it as a PNG file. Yeah, so let's load the PNG file into Photoshop. Don't do it as a JPEG, you will get a black background then, but we need a transparent background, a non-existent background. Okay, see you in a second in Photoshop. So here she is. Um, what we do now is, uh, or what we need, is an alpha mask. Um, the easiest thing, or how, how I do it, is uh, to create a copy here and of the previous layer. And I go to the layer style options, make a color overlay of white. So, and create a new layer down right here behind this one and uh, fill it with black. So you can do it with alpha mask or whatever you can do it in many different ways. Um, important thing is that you have a white and black image, only those two colors. This will be the alpha mask um, and we use it to cut out the background, the black background, um, in Death Studio. If we would only, uh, if we would load this image to um, Death Studio, it wouldn't work because um, there's no cutout opacity and um, the software would try to cut out everything that is black. So, um, also this area would be cut off here then because it's kind of black and uh, here the, the bra bracelet would be cut off. If you have black hair, it would be cut off. So you need a black background and um, with a white overlay for the image. Yeah, okay, we save this as a, you can save this as a JPEG, that doesn't matter. Um, but you also can save it as a PNG. <coughs> uh, Let's call this BV, BW, black and white. Save it, save it. Now we go back to Death Studio and move the camera a little bit here. Now we create a new primitive, a plane in Z positive. Um, one meter is enough for the moment. And we place it right beside her somewhere over here. So now I go to the surface tab of the plane and um, put the, into the diffuse color. We put the image, um, we just made before the normal image of her, so the, the PNG file. And we put into the opacity channel, opacity strength here, here without the alpha map. Now we see the background is gone and we can scale up everything. And well, that's too much. Let's see, somewhere over here, somewhere here. So it's not the same as you can see. So, something like this, but it's not finished yet. So what we have here is a uh, render for you. The original one and the uh, fake one. I think it looks good. So, and if we put the ground on, we see that we need to adjust something and um, ground should be a manual so that it's here with the original figure and uh, we need to translate the plane a little bit so it's the and scale it down 200 and move it down until 
she hits the floor. Something like this. You know, so, and um, oh, you see, his oh, she always it also provides us with a shadow. And if we rotate the light, the shadow follows. That's pretty good. That's what you want. So you render without the ground uh, and first to to get to get the character in PNG with transparent background, and after that you put the ground back on or you use an environment, and um, you can um, see all the shadows. Then this character um, casts. You don't have to have the fear that it will be a rectangle or square shadow. It only um, affects the, the figure, the visible part of our billboard. Yeah. Okay, this is how it works. You can now delete the Genesis 8 female and this will render in, in almost no time because it's just a plane with an image and um, if you rotate the image, the plane a little bit, be careful with it. Yeah, you can rotate a little bit, but if you rotate 90 degrees, of course, we have this flat line. Yeah, because it's just a 2D part. But with this um, trick, with this tip, you can put a lot of characters into your scene. You need, of course, different ones, and um, that will work very good. And uh, I hope this helped you out for some cases, how to render something uh, with a small computer or with an old computer or also with a great computer, but with a highly crowded um, scene. And um, yeah. That's worth it. Hope you like it and see you next time. Bye bye.